Hi again, my little underworlders. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open the London edition of the Pokemon card game. And to be honest, I definitely like the art design of Pikachu. It looks kind of cute. And, ooh, I get, to, I get to have a little button. I think I should wear that, too. Okay, we're going to open that, then. I'm having trouble opening the box as I am having trouble with the packs. <laughs> uh, I like to uh, I put myself down way too much sometimes, but that's life. If you if no one's gonna put you down, the only person that is putting you down is yourself. Doesn't make sense, huh? Comment down at the bottom if that made sense. Um, ooh, ooh, little notebook. Ooh, cool. Okay. Oh, these are like, um, oh, these are like past trainers that actually joined the tourneys, huh? Oh, these are actually pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. Keep these. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Ah, to go to world. That'd be so cool. Ooh, Pokemon Playmats. Cool. You know, when I first played Pokemon, it was with Brad, and I think that was a few years ago. And, um, I was like, Dang, I can't believe I lost my first Pokemon battle in a card game. And, ooh, I like this deck box. This deck box is actually pretty cool. I'm going to keep it safe so it doesn't get ruined. And look, my little Pikachu London pin. Uh, I wish I should have... Yeah, 2022. I knew it was from 2022. Putting that with my Eevee pendant that me and my friend Brad got on Facebook. at the do a little contest. Okay, I'm trying to open this little thing up right here. And yes, okay. I got that coat. Ooh. Nah, this is an art piece, huh? Yeah, this is art. For a moment, I thought it was going to be like, can I use this in Pokemon battles? No, huh? Because it's not a Pokemon card. It's a... It's a... Card design that you can keep, which is actually pretty cool. Don't mind. And I got that code thingy for uh, Pokemon Live. And here's, oh no, there's another one. So I got two of these. Hmm. Cool back cover, and I do like the designs. They're really cool. Also, the, I like those bears. They're cool. And oh my god. Okay. This is the biggest Pokecorn. <laughs> Pokecoin, not corn. Ah! Um, I mean, I have like three. One from Brad and two from uh, a certain Pokemon decks I bought for myself a few years back. Um, the High Dragon Coin. And uh, I forgot this Pokemon's name, but my best friend Brad sent it to me on mail. And also the Lunala deck that I got a few years ago. And let me tell you something. That deck is actually pretty good for me. I actually built it. And it went pretty well. I won several matches against Brad with that deck. But uh, to use it in tourneys and stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to risk my butt. To go ahead and get my butt kicked by a pro. I'm putting these two in here for safekeeping. I'm going to throw this out after I'm done. If you... If you... Um... I should keep this. I was thinking if I should go ahead and just face it right in front of you guys so you can use it, but I doubt you want it. So if you do, leave a comment down below. Okay, let's. Yeah, I already looked through that one. Okay, let's get to the Carson. I really like this deck box. Deck box here is. I really like the design. The design is so. Wow. Wait. Oh, so those are. So these are cars. It's just a okay. So never mind. Eh. Ooh, yeah. These are actually pretty cool. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm guessing like since these are world champion decks, um, these are actually pretty cool. Okay, so ooh. Okay, I got um. Italian. 
two copies and one design, one different design, and I like it. And Intellion, actually, when I first saw Intellion in the Pokemon Journey, I actually thought that, dude, that Intellion looks a hell of a lot like a spy. Here we got Intellions. I'm going to put them back in the box for each one I pull out. And, oh, really, this box design is actually pretty. And we got Drizzle. So emo. Ah, shit. Almost dropped it. Drizzle in his emo phase. How many of you went through your emo phase when you were teenagers in high school? Don't be shy. I mean, everyone went through that. If you're asking me if I did. Maybe. And we got... Four subtle cards. Subtle. Usually we, I usually call them bubbles because, um, you got to admit several of them almost looks like the Powerpuff Girl. And if you saw that meme where the gal the Galar starter Pokemon almost looks like the Powerpuff Girls, then you know what I mean. And uh, Oct Octavary. Artillery. There we go. Huh. Uh, like I said, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Actually, my sister is a water type deck person, so um, well, actually, I could still keep this deck for myself if she doesn't do, and I doubt she'll subscribe to my channel. Actually, I'd rather not have any of my family subscribe. Ooh. Um, Meta Cham. Metacham. Cool. Metacham V. You know, I, I through my years of Pokemon cards, I never heard of V cards until now in several years. Ooh. I actually saw the movie with this Pokemon and Ash sacrificing himself to save that girl with this Pokemon. Pretty ballsy. That's the thing. That guy always puts himself in harm's way and almost gets himself killed. What was his mom would say? Ash, how come you... Or Satoshi. I know a lot of people are using the Japanese name. I really do. And Satoshi, how come you try to kill yourself for these girls? Because, mom, I want them. I want my own harem. Uh, I got this... Another, a trainer card. Um, wait, is it Lidra or Idra? Rita. Rita! There we go. Name kind of sounds makes sense if you call it Rita. Uh. Shirley. Or Cheryl? Yeah, Cheryl. Maybe. Heal all damage from each of your evol evolution Pokemon. If you do, discard all energy from the. Pokemon that were healed in this way. Huh. Maybe I should use that for my bench Pokemons. Ooh, okay. I know this card because in Pokemon Live, the training card game in that, I've seen a lot of people use this, and it's pretty good. By the way, Pokemon Training Card Live, you really need to fix your game. I mean, I got logged out multiple times, and also I have to, like, surrender, which I didn't. Because of the game keeps freezing. Dudes, come on. Um, so these cars are actually pretty good. And if I'm having trouble pronouncing their names, sorry about that. But that's why I'm putting them in the camera face. Tower of Water. You know, actually, I use Alter of the Moon on Brad several times. And... He always uh, makes jokes saying, like, we're here again? <laughs> uh, scoop up net. i read this one. Put one of your Pokemon that, that isn't a Pokemon V or a Pokemon GX into your hand. Discard all attached cards. Hmm. And we got Evolution Incense. And also, if I pronounce it now wrong, please. I'm sorry. Uh, 
Um, okay. Search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, and that's actually a pretty good card. Uh, we got a level ball. Great, um. Search your deck for an for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay. Maybe I should add some of these cards in my ghost-type deck. I should do that, huh? Or whatever deck. I mean, I did told you in the previous video of saying, Hey, you guys, leave a comment down in the bottom below. Tell me if I should make a ghost-type deck, or I am already planning on making a dark-type deck, and, well, I already made a psychic deck. But yeah, or I can mix the two, the psychic and ghost-type, or... The dark and ghost type. Uh, energy search. And quick ball. And escape rope. Shit. Uh... Heavy Ball. I'm just going to use Heavy Ball because I can't pronounce that one name. If you guys could see that right there. If not, I am sorry. To, I'm new at using this computer camera thing. I used to use my phone's camera and do that, but... Uh, ordinary Rod. Uh, ordinary Rod. Here's this. Effect if you guys can read it. If not, I recommend you looking it up. Sorry. Palpad. Box keep falling. Uh. Rescue carrier. Cool. An ultra ball. Cool. Uh, tool jammer. Sorry. Tool jammer. Uh, three fighting energies. Actually, my brother does mostly fire and fighting type cards. Uh, rapid strike energies. And, well, I know you already seen them, but three Urshifus on their Rapid Strike. Rapid Strike Urshifu V. And you already saw their um, VMAX form. Let me get the top form on. From this. Uh... Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. And, uh, yeah. Actually, you know, on the second, I'd rather leave the trainers and, yeah, the item cards in this deck is dead. Yeah. Okay, so that was the 2022 London deck. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video when we unbox. V Star, oh, sorry, V Star, uh, Rio. Lucario. <laughs> I, I suck. I really suck so much. Uh, the Lucario box. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.